heading down to Elmbridge Canoe Club to do the usual Saturday morning session. And anybody who's ever trained at Elmbridge will know the Saturday session has been the same session probably since the dawn of time. So you know what you're getting. It's basically just races. Uh, it's usually a bit hectic, but there's no wind today at all. The weather's really, really nice. It's the first time it's really been like this since I came back from Cape Town last week. So. I'm excited to get out on the water. been getting worse over the last few years but the, the one thing that has been getting worse is their ability to look behind them. Might be going flat out backwards. Is there anything behind me? Probably should check. I'm not just going to get in my car and, and reverse without checking that there's any small children behind me am I? That's what rowers do. I probably don't do that. <laughs> sign shop today and it's been a beautiful day. I just cannot wait to get on the water tonight. So let's go and have a good session eh? You can take it away. Hurry up, what are you doing? Okay, I'm going. Cambridge Canoe Club, best canoe club in the world. I'm gonna enjoy this session, I'm gonna smash it up, let's go. What up? Everybody meet Thomas. in order for swallow stickers through. I don't know if you can see that. My little white swallow stickers, back in stock. First person to order from Italy. Alessandro! Gnecci. Gnecci. I don't know how to pronounce the second name. We're mates anyway, I know we are. I'll put an extra sticker in there for you. Cheers. Flipping starving, been working all morning. It's lunchtime, I've got to do gym later, so. I need some fuel to do the gym session. Plus, a couple more people have ordered some stickers and a couple of t shirts, so I'm going to go and deliver them now. Make it ooze with the unthinkable and start to you can first. Not too unpredictable, take control of what you're worth. Wasting time's forgivable, but nobody wants to grow. It's time for the original to come and break through, 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 come and break through. So I'm just on my way to go and get a little bit of food before I go to the gym. I'm going to A.G. Miller's Butchers in Teddington. These guys do the most amazing sausage baguettes and bacon baguettes um, and chicken baguettes. These things are huge, you'll see what I mean. Let's find a parking space. Perfect. Boom. Thank you. 
look at that. Remember how you made it here, a game of truth or dare. You rolled the dice with confidence, now the fortunes we can share. The finish line is for me, just keep your eye on the prize. It's a new style, it's calling you, why don't you try it on the side? Take it easy, just one step, one step. Favorite restaurant of all time, Wagamama's. Bit of an endurance, strength endurance session tonight. Just had a bungee on, as you can see down here. Bungee on my boat. Towards the end, I just pop that ball down there as well, just a cheeky little ball to make things a little bit harder. So stoked at the moment, like training's going really well. I'm really happy with how I'm paddling and um, just really nice to be back on this bit of Thames. It's like my home turf, you know. You always go well when it's your own bit of your own stretch of water. And it's absolutely beautiful here today. Beautiful. You're welcome to come and train with me as well. Anybody wants to come and train with me? Come down and see if you're good enough. Let the game begin. Gonna go home now. Get a big load of food for dinner, refuel, get ready for tomorrow morning session. So I just jumped in the car and decided to go and pay my friend uh, Joe Reeves a visit. Joe's um, a producer and he's just finished his masters this or last year uh, in music production. And he's got an amazing little studio up in his loft in his house. So told me he's going to be doing a bit of recording with some friends tonight. I'm just going to pop around there, it's on the way home from training. He's a good friend and uh, sometimes I help him out with filming some of his music videos. You know, if you want to be creative, you've got to hang out with creative people. They're good lads, so let's go and pay Joe a little visit. Yeah, this be my vlog, so awesome. be nice. What, what, uh, just more like a press of like a YouTube. Nice. Mr. Harmony. Yeah. Somebody love me like she do. Seeing Joe and his little his little group of mates, they're all such great musicians. Um, I think Joe's putting a video together for that particular Beatles song. So uh, when it comes out, I'll put a link in the description for you guys so you can check it out. What's the time now? It's only just getting dark, and it's quarter to nine. That's amazing. Summer is fully on its way. I'm really excited. Okay, bye. Simmons, Hi. good to see you. Ah. <laughs> What's going on? Me and Simmons has just had a good 18k paddle. <laughs> Show the juniors how it's done. Now we're flipping hungry, so we're gonna go and eat some scrambled eggs, salmon, and check out the yummy mummies in the cafe. Get a bit of attention.
Right now I'm doing a little bit of work. Some of the jobs I do, I make stickers with this thing here. I don't know if any of you, but any of you lot have seen uh, my swallow stickers that I make. These ones down here. So it's Friday night, I'm just going to pick up my mate, Lewis Pugh, from the station. Uh, if you don't know who Lewis Pugh is, I'll put a link in the description. You should really go and check him out. He's a bit of a crazy swimmer. He's gonna stay over tonight. We're gonna grab a bite to eat, talk about a lot, catch up, and then um, we're gonna go training in the morning at the famous Elmbridge Canoe Club. Lewis mostly paddles in a surf ski, so I'm gonna try and put him in quite a stable K1. Tomorrow morning, it should be quite interesting to see how he gets on. Elmbridge isn't exactly the most forgiving environment to learn how to paddle in a K1, so I'm sure he'll be fine though, he's a tough cookie. So it's Saturday morning, I'm here with my mate Lewis Pugh, he's come over from Cape Town. I'm about to take him down to Elmridge Canoe Club where he's going to have the shock of his life. And he's going to be smashed around by some kids who know what they're doing in K1s. But first we're both pretty sleepy because we had a long day yesterday so we're going to go and grab some coffee. Now I know it's pretty early but it looks like we're the first people in, in uh, Costa this morning. See you later, Lewis. Thank you. Have a good flight. Thanks so much. No worries. Okay. Just say goodbye to Lewis. He's off to Cape Town. He'll be back next month. It's weird coming to um, Heathrow Terminal 5 without actually getting on a plane and leaving and checking in. It's quite nice, actually. It's Sunday morning. It's 20 past 10. Slept for about 11 hours. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. Some really good training done this week though, so I'm stoked to be back on the ball. It's one of those weeks where um, I just had to learn how to train hard again in the K1. I feel like I'm starting to get it back, so let's hope yet. Yeah. Let's get some breakfast. Morning, Mumsy. Morning, sweetheart. What are you cooking? Just turn your bacon on eggs there. Bacon and eggs for Beans breakfast. And this this is why I have a food tech teacher for a mum. It's the best thing ever. Morning dad. Hello. <laughs> Morning Tommy. Yeah. Kiss the camera. Kiss the camera. Good. Here goes mum and dad. They're so cool. I thought I'd take this opportunity just to answer a couple of your questions. At the start of the senior men's World Marathon Championships. What boat speed do you have to be able to maintain and for how long in order to make the front bunch comfortably? To be a good marathon paddler you have to be a good thousand meter paddler so you can't you can't get off the start line and into the front group comfortably without being good at starts. I'd say to to get in the front group off the start of the marathon world championships you're probably looking at something um, around a thousand meter PB of about 340 uh, and faster really. Hi Ben, I'd like to know what gym work do you do, specifically exercises, and how do you use this throughout the year? Well, I'm going to have um, a couple of my gym sessions involved in this uh, more regular video blog that I'm going to be doing, um, and I'm going to throw in a few key exercises that I use and why I use them. Uh, just to help you guys out. That's the end of this week's video. 
and make sure you subscribe and like the video if you like it and check out my other videos. Cool man. Train hard, rest well. I don't even know what the fucking thing is. Work hard, do what you love and do it well. <laughs>